freedom of speech has just got me all messed up. So I need to see something remotely funny. I pay my wife for all sex as I need it more often than she does. Oh my. A man has admitted that he schedules in oral sex with his wife and pays her around $15 each time he receives it and climaxes. But it's 15 pounds, I believe. Let me, let me check this out. So he pays his wife 20 bucks for a blowjob. Can I say that, Stu? I don't know if I can say that. But who cares? $20, that's not bad in my opinion. I mean, especially if your wife doesn't want to do it. She's giving you the deal of the day, buddy. <laughs> Do you think it would be disturbing to pay your partner for oral sex? This is the question one man has publicly posted after writing into a relationship advice column. The unnamed Australian man explains to, oh, $15 Australian. Huh. Shouldn't that be lower? <clears throat> he claims his wife rarely wants to receive it and also in the past has gone without it as well. Once for well over a year. But he now knows that he needs to have it more frequently so he has decided to pay his partner for doing it is she any good at it that's my question because honestly like i'm looking at twenty dollars and compared to what dudes pay to see alinity dance around in panties on OnlyFans, twenty dollars for a blowjob seems like a steal to me he writes as our money is separate due to her being irresponsible <laughs> I'm laughing, but that's some true shit. I had one girlfriend go, we should have a joint account. I'm like, no way in hell. <laughs> Every time she gives me oral sex on its own, from start to climax, I pay her $30, which may happen once a fortnight. Hey, broski, I got some heels in a shield pot. I need healing and I'm only at one HP. Oh, oh, oh. Oh my god! Stop! That's 14 days for you. I book it in and shower once kids are in bed and transfer her the money. He goes on to explain that there are a few other sexual favors he will pay for. Such as Boink. sex, which he... <laughs> which he parts with $200 for. And believes his wife is comfortable with their deal as she often seeks to make more money. Okay, uh, now it's starting to feel like he is living only fans. At times when she wants to earn more money, she may initiate deals to book in, he says. When it comes to normal sex, I don't pay anything, which is average once or twice a week. But with kids and the pressures of everyday life, it's pretty quick missionary to fit in with our night once kids are settled in bed or occupied. Good Lord. This doesn't sound like a very sexy marriage, to be real with you. He adds, my question is, are these payment deals something that you would consider disturbing? Or if it works for us both, is it okay? You're fucking married, dude. Why are you asking people online? Like, why would you even embarrass yourself with this and even tell anyone? How was work today? Oh, pretty good. We got a new client and the bank will make a lot of money. What client? I cannot tell you. It's confidential. Oh, come on, why not? No, I can't. Anyway, how is your sex life? Ah, me and my wife have terrible sex twice a week. We do missionary position when the kids are busy watching Twitch. Their favorite streamer is Amaranth. God bless her for keeping little Rusty busy as me and my wife initiate intimacy in the most soulless way possible. And if I want a little extra kink, I, I slide her 30 bucks for a blowy in... You know, every now and then, you know, I give her 200 for eight. <laughs> what a story, Mark. We've been together eight years, only eight years. I have a high sex drive where I feel I need to ejaculate a minimum of twice a day. And that's why I put these offers forward where we both get something from it. Or maybe others looking in would think my demand is unreasonable. I think your, your sex life is terrible. Like, there's so many layers here. It's like, it sounds like the sex is horrible and the wife must be terrible with money and she's doing it for 200 bucks. Wouldn't she just, you know, not spend frivolously? Maybe learn how to invest money, woman. And why can't the husband just beat off? Relationship expert Isaiah McKimmy confesses to having concerns about the couple's current situation. She replies, 
At the very least, this sounds like an unhealthy dynamic. It doesn't even sound that unhealthy to me. I mean, it sounds terrible, but I don't know what I think about it. Like the life of a man is usually just shit in today's world. So I hear this and I look at it and it goes, sounds about par for the course for the average male. At its worst, I'm concerned that there is actually abuse occurring in your relationship. Okay, where's the abuse occurring? I'm confused. Like, it's not like the guy has a gun to his wife's head and forcing her to do it. Unless you're saying the abuse is towards him. I don't know. Just because your wife has agreed to do this doesn't mean it's not abusive. What type of retarded shit is this? His wife is literally like, she's fleecing her own husband for sex money. You know? And it's like, oh, it's the wife that's suffering. His wife has her own account. And apparently she's so shit with money that she has to work out sex deals with her husband to make some extra money. What is she spending her money on? And he's so desperate, he's willing to pay any price. You gotta look at the man as a goddamn hero, frankly. I know, I'm gonna get flack for it, but let's face it, he's already paying for sex. He's a hop, skip, and a jump away from going to a goddamn professional and going, Whoa! So this is what it's like to have a good <laughs> orgasm. What am I doing with my wife? She adds, your current approach does nothing but build real intimacy or help cultivate your wife's sexual desire. She seems to have no sexual desire and the man is doing everything in his power. And she even comes to him with propositions. Frankly, it's obvious that there's no hotness in their relationship because let's face it. They've been together eight years. They've probably already gone through the seven year itch. They've got kids. She doesn't seem to like sex, period. And the dude is sticking by his wife. In a day and age where every asshole and their mother gets on Tinder and looks for some side action, the man sticks with his wife. And then she goes, well, if you paid me for a blowy. And he's like, okay. <laughs> he's so desperate for a touch. He's willing to pay. The man's a hero. If it was me, I would have pulled the ripcord by now. Would have been gone a while ago. But then he's got kids, so maybe I would have stuck it out, but I just, I wouldn't even bother with her anymore, sexually. Personally, it's like, this woman doesn't want me. I'm going to go jerk off to Twitch. That's what I would do. Hey, kids, what are you doing? Oh, I'm just watching uh, Indy Fox, Dad. Oh, give me a link to that, son. I need to go to the bathroom. <laughs> oh, my God. I love how, like, the man is willing to pay his wife for sexual favors. And the relationship expert is like, you're abusing her. Nothing. It's just sad. It's sad. He's like, oh, my wife doesn't seem to be that interested in sex, so I started paying her for it. You are abusive, mister. You're a piece of garbage. And then if he stepped out on her, he'd still be a piece of garbage. This is from the same site that was publishing the, the chick who was talking about cheating on people. And they made it seem like she was a hero. The man who stays in his relationship. And he's even willing to pay for his wife's touch.